take a look at fur leaves today, a staple of the genre, right? Gotta have this one in the bag. And uh, it's super easy, just the A part and the B part, and uh, let's break it down here. So here's the A part. It uh, starts with this little riff. Easy melody, we're just back and forth between two notes here. Um, open E, and 6th fret on the A string. Just plant your finger in the 6th fret, don't move it. And just go back and forth, starting on the E string. And then, on the A string, 2, 5, and 3. Down here, two little A minor chord, which is fifth fret on the G, second fret on the D, and open A most importantly. Then you can just pick the notes individually and move down here to an E major chord, first fret on the G, and take your uh, middle finger here and bar the middle two frets or middle two strings, second fret. And then kind of do the thing again. Where we'll hit the chord once, and then uh, just hit hit them individually, and then A minor, which is second fret of the uh, D and the G strings, and third fret here in the A. And this one we won't do the little follow. We'll just hit the chord and let it sit there. So it's this. So all that together there. All right, does a little melody again here. But this time, just a slightly different ending. We're gonna do here our A, our A minor as before, five and two, five. To the E major, just like before, one, two, and two. But now, while keeping these fingers in place, we're just going to take this finger, we're going to add it onto the uh, third fret of the A string, and just take it right back off. So nothing moves, so the chord can keep ringing here. You want all these chords to ring out as much as possible. last chord it's going to be very similar to the A minor chord as before only this time it's second fret of the G second fret of the D open A so one more time Sorry to interrupt before we get to uh, the B part here. Be sure to take a second to uh, let me know where you're watching from in the world so I can put a pin on my map here uh, for you. All right, thanks. Back to the lesson here. All right, so here's that B part again. Just as a reminder, what we're doing, we're going to start. It's a little climb here. Third to the 5 on the A string, and open C chord, uh, 2 on the D, 3 on the A. And it's just a series of chords, and each chord has a little two note phrase in between it. So here's our chord, our two note phrase is first to the open on the E string. Now a G chord, uh, which is two on the A and three on the high A. And our two notes are gonna be open E, and then the fifth fret on the uh, A string. So. Now A minor, same A minor as before, two, two, and three. 
just kind of like we did before this chord will just stay here and we're just going to add this note on and take it off fifth fret on the a and take it right back off to the three and one more chord this might i mean it's an e major but you're going to want to have probably want to use your fingers this way this time here one two and three you're probably gonna have to cram them all in there because you really need this top string to, to ring out open you know before we were just kind of do it this way because we weren't concerned about this top string we were just doing these notes but To get that top string to open, you got to get your fingers out of the way there. So it's probably easiest to go one, you know, two here, and two here. That way your fingers can be up and out of the way of that bottom string. One more time. Fun little thing to do, you can do a harmonic up at the 12th fret, which is this little chimey sound, which you get by laying your finger really lightly on the fret, hitting the string and then taking your finger away right away. If you do it just right, it makes a chimey little bell sound. And you don't even have to do a harmonic, you could just hit the note like this. sounds nice just to throw that high E up in there somehow, right? Then it just starts over with its main little riff. Thanks for tuning in to Command and Lend for our little look at uh, Fur Lee's Beethoven. Gotta have that one in the bag, right? That's just a, a staple of the genre, uh, if you will. Uh, hey, if you haven't already by now, if you made it this part of the video, be sure and uh, subscribe down below. Command and Lend, do a lot of these uh, lessons and tutorials and uh, sometimes gear reviews and stuff. And just uh, talking about mandolins. And of course, I put the PayPal uh, link down below if you're checking out the channel, uh, getting some from the channel, could kick it a buck or two, would sure be appreciated. Uh, my deepest appreciation. Thanks so much to people who have actually done that. And uh, thanks again to my uh, Patreons, uh, or Patrons, I guess it would be, at the uh, new Patreon channel, uh, which of course I would link down to below as well with a whole different uh, bunch of lessons and content and stuff that goes on there that doesn't, uh, never suits the big channel here. But thanks to these guys. Thanks to everybody watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.